jiving and laughing and joking, but I'm actually paying attention. I'm concentrating. And, and there's I'm also to go this. on television and talk about Another that. Another thing people don't know about Jalen Rose. Great team player. Thank you. Hey, Shalom. I want to say, Kar Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom to uh, all you brothers out here. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock of Israel. All right, you brothers, you sisters. All right, everybody waking up to this truth. You may belong to the elect of the nation of Israel. And so it's behoove you. It's time. All right, it would be wise of you. To really adhere and listen to the words of prophecy in these days okay because the time is short and for anybody that's seen this video it's floating around world star brothers sent it to each other you know this isn't uh for play man you know they, it looks like it's a scene straight out of some marvel movie all right you know where the villain is trying to take over this or that but this is the rawness in which esau is coming now you see they got plans and trying to go to 20, uh, 2200, 2300, 20. They trying to go uh, like Buzz Lightyear, beyond and, you know, above and beyond. However, he says it, to infinity and beyond. He's so not playing with you, Jakes, man. You, Jakes, especially a lot of you so called black women, you so called Latina women, and all of this with the feminist movement got y'all like, I, we don't need no man we can do by ourselves. Well, who's the men y'all gonna end up turning to? All right, we can do it by ourselves. That means you gotta be employed. That means you got, right? And every woman knows this term, going to the bag, straight to the bag. So there's gonna be offers that you that's gonna be put on the table for you. For you to rest your the rest of your life. For you to, you know, forget about the hardships and the pain of having to get up and be that independent. For you to actually get taken care of the way you always thought you was, right? When you was young, playing dress up and whatnot. All right? The way your mom and your grandmama and them used to tell you, uh, uh, hey, look, you got to find one of these type of men. You know, if he can't pay your bill, well, there's going to be offers on the table. Man, that's going to come through, try to pay your bills and everything and beyond. They're going to want your eggs. They're going to want your excrement. They're going to want to do things on your face that belong in the toilet. All right. They're going to want to seize the day when it comes to you and uh, uh and, and, and what you'll do it for And it's funny when you're watching this video It's like surreal You know, it's almost as if um, <laughs> It's written out of a, 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 a Like a Marvel movie But um, he get to offering these women money For something that he want from them Which is not, you know, not, you know, the usual And he give a, a five, He say $500 And they like, hell nah So it show you <clears throat> And then he start talking the, the other dude in the background They playing like good cop, bad cop and then, he, and then he bring out How about 60 grand For something something For the year For your lifetime Or whatever it is Now they looking at 60 grand See uh, you add a few zeros And a few commas And a few digits And that same no Turns into a yes sir Any day when I'll go now with you Hey you gotta have um, The Lord gonna give you a backbone In that day to refute All type of All and any offers man They gonna come through With the most sweetest deals For a lot of you uh, Brothers and, and, and sisters out there that have been subscribing to what we subscribe to. They might even give you a dinner like these. they giving these hoes here, man. And I say hoes because, you know, they all about, when you're all about the bag, you know, you don't forgot your morals and integrity. And it's all about numbers and digits at the end of the day. You just a hoe to money. You're a money hoe. All right? You're no different than the temple prostitutes of the ancient world. They used to sit in the temples and, 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 and sell their body. And give their body up to the men And they were whores At the temple doors That's a real custom So you're not going You know you, you, You're you just a modern day hoe An independent hoe Alright Now You know Not to be rambling Go on We're going to get right into the scripture Let's see what the scriptures say about this whole ordeal And here's another guy 
Um, his name is not this guy. Let me see. Yeah, him. Yuri, Yurin, um, Hara. Maybe. Yurin Har Noah Harari. <clears throat> says um, he works with Klaus Schwab, lead advisor to Klaus Schwab, another uh, Edomite demon out here. Um, you know, pushing for NWO agenda, uh, global domination, NWO, you know, global depopulation agenda. These Edomites are getting open with it and more open with it and more open with it, man. And so, um, you should check this video out as well. The soul and him is not a bright Yuval Harari by Zanama. <clears throat> so, getting into it, put on the whole armor of Yahweh. Ephesians 6 and 11, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So we understand that Esau is going to be used as, and has been used, right? The scripture says he's estranged from the womb. And um, Hosea, or Habakkuk, it tells you that the soul that is lifted up in him is not a bright. So he got a spirit of pride, a spirit of greed. He's a carnal man, ruled by the sword and tape. Seeking, seeking vengeance, and the Lord wants us to put all the put on the whole armor of the Lord. You know, so imagine that. Imagine that we're not even supposed to be um, physically combating our enemies because it's not a physical fight. The Scripture tells you that on um, the carnal mind is enmity with the Most High, and um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And so we definitely understand how we can go through um, uh, a world in which we're not supposed to combat our enemies on the physical front because we understand it's a spiritual plane, it's a spiritual way to look at things. And the most high under designed this society to end with him fighting for us. That's what the savior part is all about. It says that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, wiles tricks schemes right is his um plots his agendas because he's coming down man as you can see man he, he's pulling no punches no more it, it we passed that stage of uh the pleasant edomite leaders and edomite leaders hearing what the poor and the meek and the humble have to say So we passed that past that stage. All right. Now we have um here Romans thirteen and fourteen. Just go through the succession of scriptures. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh and make not provision for the flesh. Meaning provisions. Meaning um you know providing the way. You know, providing the way for the flesh. Don't give opportunity to the flesh. Understand that the flesh is against you. That's the part of um, that carnal um, demon that can dwell in you and overshadow and overtake you if you allow it to. To fulfill the lust thereof and the lust of all, everything that your heart desires of this world and wants, you know, to make it, to have all the riches and the money. You're just like your father Esau going after the same things. But what about spiritual gifts like prophecy what about spiritual things like knowledge wisdom and understanding what about getting fat with that nobody wants that anymore wisdom you say wisdom and knowledge can't pay your bills can't get you on the island so they they cast it off but that's wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times in the days we come into Ephesians 4 and 24 says in, that ye put on the new man, which is after Yahweh, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. So the new man, holy and righteous. And remembering that we already put off the old man who is carnal. And just a sorry, sad excuse for a, a, a male or a female for that matter. But now we have the riches which abound in much mercy. Which are this truth, man, which leadeth leadeth unto salvation. This word is not to be overlooked. 
It's not to be taken lightly. It's not to be put in the same uh, consideration as um, what you do when you go to school and take classes. Yeah, this is a class. This is classic King's Page, but this ain't this ain't what you think it is. This is the Lord's uh, University, where He is um, preparing His men uh, for salvation and to be delivered out of this mess. You see what he saw us doing, man. And so this dude, as a matter of fact, when he talks, he talks about um, we have uh, found ways to just create humans. That's just like in the past, the industrial age was all about um, industry and making new this, I don't know, technology and making cars go faster and making highways and bridges and the airplanes and goods and services and all of that. That was the industrial era, <clears throat> fact, tactiles and uh, clothing and industry. Well, the new and the new era of this era, this this lifetime is making humans. He said, creating we can create humans and minds. <laughs> but what are sick ones, right? So they have already rooted you people out. They they understand that hell, man, to depopulate the world and just to repopulate them with whoever we create. That's the game plan. So what are we to do? supposed to be even more spiritual once again we're not going to combat this with anything carnal and once you got that out your mind man you stop you stop trying to please the flesh you stop trying to please uh people and you work on pleasing the lord because there's no situation in which he can't deliver you from second corinthians 10 and 4 for the weapons of our warfare warfare are not carnal but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds which is that faith which is that integrity which is that loyalty to the Most High and His Heavenly and the Heavenly Father, and knowing that justice is going to reign supreme, judgment is going to reign supreme, and then the Most High is going to deliver His elect. I will go on, but it's time to get back to work. Lord willing, this video is edifying. Until next time, shalom.